Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts and feelings on the game Hyperscape. In case you're unaware, it is a Ubisoft created battle royale. I know, Ubisoft, gross. <laughs> Just kidding. I play all Ubisoft games pretty much, but I'll pretend I'm with you. Yeah, bad, Ubisoft bad. I just want to start saying it's underrated, it's slept on. It's mistreated in the Battle Royale genre, if I'm going to be honest. I prefer it to Apex, I prefer it to Fortnite, I prefer it to Warzone, I prefer it to all the Battle Royales that came before that I can't remember the name of. I just wish the player base was a bit bigger. I wish uh, when I was in rank that I wasn't constantly placing against champions every five minutes. I do really enjoy the rank system though, speaking of ranked, uh, it gives you 10 medals for your initial placement games where it shows you your damage, your kills, your placement and what skill level you played at. As an example, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond or champion I think is the full list. Don't quote me on that. I like it because it has a no excuses attitude to it where you don't you can't just sit there and be delusional and go, oh, I don't deserve to be in this rank. Because if you have no kills, if you get no damage, if you're placing really bad, the evidence is there, it's written in front of you, you you're in the level you're supposed to be in. Whereas in some games like Overwatch, it kind of leaves it up to the player's imagination where they can go, oh, I'm in silver, but I play like a diamond. You don't. Another great part of Type Escape is the Team Deathmatch game mode and other LTM like it, the big team modes that they had before. I just really enjoy them because they're basic, they don't take a long time to get used to, but they are just top tier fun. Like Team Death is so much fun. The problems that occur when I play it is issues with the, I don't know if it's skill based matchmaking so I'm not going to use that term, but the matchmaking in ranked where I'm placed on a team usually with silver players who don't really know how to play the game, no offense to them, and I'm usually against champions. And late at night I end up in games where I just start with three squads. I just won a game before recording where I was in a two squad game, killed the one squad and just won. Granted, I actually think that's kind of cool, it's more high pressure, intense environment for you to be in as opposed to, you know, still landing with the usual 30 or however many. I don't know how many they're supposed to be because I don't get that many anymore. Um, the So yeah, the small player base, like I said, big problem. I, I wouldn't say big problem because I, I enjoy the small games, so it's not, it's not really an issue for me. But I would enjoy this game seeing more use and seeing more praise from people because it is a very solid game. I also love the implement the implementing of hacks. Now hacks, if you're unaware, are your main ability. So as you'll see on the screen right now, I am using invulnerable and reveal, which makes me obviously partially invul invulnerable and I'll be able to reveal enemies' locations through walls like they just did to me. I really like the way they're implemented because there are m clear movement, defense, and offense hacks that you can mix and match. Some games I've won using pure momentum where I have teleport and a slam that I'm using for mobility to get to high ground. Other games I'm using reveal and heal, being more of a support type player. And sometimes I'm using a vulnerable mine, like a dick. What? Who said that? How rude. Um, but yeah, I, I like the way they're implemented. I don't feel like, I feel like sometimes it can get kind of annoying when you get the people with the double movement and they're just running all game. You shoot them with a single bullet and suddenly they've pelted themselves off the building at 10,000 miles per hour down the road, they're around the corner in the kebab shop because they know they've got enough time. It's a bit whack. Moving on from that, uh, the guns. I, I like how they've improved the guns because, uh, in case you didn't know, at the start, console players had quite a lot of problem using the guns. I don't really know what the exact issues were. But they've implemented a lot more customization now, as most games do with, uh, you know, the aim styles and sensitivity and stuff like that. I mean, I'm pretty sure they already had sensitivity. Like, we're not cavemen, come on. But they've implemented more to help us out. 
and since then I've I have felt the difference greatly because before I actually couldn't use the Ripper or the Dragonfly and now they're my two favorite guns as you can see in the gameplay I'm using the Ripper and Dragonfly I love how the guns feel now I used to find it really janky and I hated it but boy do I love it now the Dragonfly is one of my favorite guns in any game right now I'll come on Hyperscape purely just to pick up a Dragonfly and use it I finally put down my hex fire and retired it. I know. Thank you. Don't all clap at once. And yeah, these improvements around launch kind of pointed out to me that these guys are serious about making a really good battle royale experience. They're not half jobbing it. They're not taking it, you know, one day at a time. They they are going for it. They knew the hex fire was a problem. They fixed it. They knew the aiming was a problem. They fixed it. They knew the content was a problem, they added more. They have done above and beyond to create this game and make it better beyond launch. And I feel like if you guys take anything away from this video, it should just be to give it a go. Just download it, boot it up, have a few games. Maybe start with Team Death so you can get used to the hacks and the guns and then move into the Battle Royale for a bit. You don't have to play ranked, if you want to play solo, you can play solo. I'm not judging, I'm judging, play ranked, do it, um, but just giving it a go, just give it a try, you know, in, in a world where everyone is either Apex or Fortnite, be an edgy bastard, you know, be a little edge lord and pick something completely out of the ordinary, you know, go go play some Roblox Battle Royale, okay, don't, no, play, play Hyperscape, please, if I catch you guys watching Roblox Battle Royale, and watching my videos, so I, I don't know what I'll do with myself. So in closing, like I said, give Hyperscape a go. You know, if you get bored and you find yourself, you know, in a rut of playing the same games, which I I did recently, just give it a go. Just, you know, what is there to lose, really, other than time, I guess. But come on, especially you UK peeps, you're with me, we're in lockdown. What else are you doing, mate? You can't just stare at the paintwork forever. Boot the game up, jump on, and you know, get bodied by me. <laughs> but yeah, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit rambly all over the place, but you know, that's me without a script for you. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you do, you know, leave a comment, let me know because Sort of, you know, if Hyperscape ain't, ain't doing it, I won't do it. This is sort of me putting feelers out, seeing what you guys enjoy. If you enjoy Hyperscape, I'll play some Hyperscape. I might upload some commentaries, do some streams, because I'm really liking the game. But if not, I will, you know, keep it in my spare time. So, yeah, let me know. I really appreciate you guys stopping by, especially if you've watched this long, because this is a long time to just listen to me ramble about nothing. But yeah, like, share, subscribe, you know, show it to all your Apex friends so they can chase me with their pitchforks. And I'll uh, see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now. I'm dying. Ooh, come get me. Come get me, boys. Yeah, I'm fucked. I managed to live, I managed to live. I'm coming to you. George is like up and about, he's about to move. I killed another one. Someone behind me. Run, run. <gasps> Fuck, I gotta heal. Easy. Oh, well, you turned into a Russian hacker then, but nice.